Let me give you a biblical story to ponder today on a Sunday morning as we draw to an end of our weekend of looking in the mirror and assessing, honestly assessing ourselves. Story of David and Goliath, you've heard it numerous times, but there's a point in there that I had dealt with in dealing with my own looking in the mirror experience. When David the shepherd boy said that he would fight the giant Goliath and defend the armies of Israel as an unlikely person to do so. Finally, the king Saul, the one over him, offered David his shield, his armor, his battle helmet, to go and fight this giant, even though Saul and most of the Israelite armies didn't think this kid had a chance. But David did something very interesting and even more importantly, he rejected the armor of Saul, even though they were on the same side, and took his own weapons, slingshots, stones, to fight the giant he had to defeat. What I'm saying is, if you really properly and diligently went through this mirror exercise this weekend of looking at who you really are and who you really want to become and who you really are not, the battles that you have to face in life, and we all have battles to face, they're unavoidable. You have to use your gifts, your talent, your strategies, not others that may, in all the best of intentions, give you suggestions of how to use certain talent and certain weapons or those that out of their own ego want you to mimic theirs, you got to use what you know that fits you, that you saw in that mirror about you, that you know is your strength, you know makes you capable, you know that sharpens your ability to fight the battles. Don't use other people's armor to face your Goliaths that you are going to face going forward. Use your slingshot and you'll get your victory.